Okay, good morning class. So, uh, have a nice day all of you. Okay, uh, stand up everybody and uh, let us pray. All princess, can you please lead the prayer? Okay, so in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, class, how are you today? Okay, that's good. So, uh, let us proceed to the, our uh, attendance. Okay, who is the absent for today? No one? Okay, that's good. Okay, so before, uh, before we proceed to the, our uh, lesson, I just want to remind you that we have uh, classroom management. So, what are those? Okay, the first is uh, lesson carefully during uh, class discussion, okay, and uh, sit properly, and uh, also don't talk to your classmate if we are a uh, discussion, okay. So now, class, be uh, before anything else, uh, before we proceed to the, our new lesson, so... Uh, who still remember our uh, lesson yesterday? Oi, John. Okay, very good. Part of the story. So now, what are the five different part of the story? Okay, princess. Okay, very good. So the different uh, part of the story are the char character, sitting, flat, conflict, and resolution so now what is character okay mark what is character okay very good so character is the one who manages to play the rule of the story okay next what is settings okay uh, Aleo what is settings Okay, very good. So, settings is the place or particular dam of location that the story takes place. Okay, the next is, so, uh, Justin, what is flat? Okay, very good. So, flat is the uh, sequence of the story. This is where the timeline of the story manage to happen and accordingly okay the next is uh, conflict okay uh, uh, Christine how about conflict okay very good so that is the part where the struggle of the character happens so that is the conflict so the last okay uh, Cedric, what is the resolution? Okay, very good. So, the resolution is the end of the story where after the conflict, it's the climax part of the story. And uh, basically, basically, the ending of the story. Okay, before we proceed to the, our new lesson, so uh, stand up everybody and... Uh, let's uh, dance okay so class are you ready okay let's go everybody feeling happy wave your hands in the air cause we've got a new dance from our friend called Charlie Bear there's a little known secret about a bear you know 
a funny bear called Charlie. Come and join in the show. Travel in the world and clapping his hands. It's Charlie Bear and his touring band. So grab your compass and pack your case. Let Charlie put a smile on your face. Flying over the mountains, fly, fly, fly swimming the under the sea, swim, swim. The running fan. through a jungle. We're back day. in time for tea. Ooh, Charlie, he knows the way. the Charlie, because he knows the right way. Charlie, Charlie, back to the best place. Darwin holidays, looking over a castle. Okay, class. Did you enjoy the uh, the dance? Okay, very good. So uh, let us proceed to the our discussion for today. So are you ready, class? Okay, very good. So now our topic for today is identifying conclusion. Are you familiar uh, with the word of conclusion? Okay, Justin. Okay, so lesson. Conclusion is the concluding part of the story where the result of the storyline must align along throughout the story. Okay. It is the most interesting part of one story. It is also the result of all events throughout the story that relate the sequence and the timeline and makes an absolute connection until the story finish. Here an example of identifying conclusion. So uh, read the story of this. Okay? Okay, go. Okay, class. Uh, are you done? Okay, very good. So now I have here a choices. Okay, class, remember that you must keep in mind that all you have even uh, events from the story is related to each other like this one from the story. Okay, you may notice the settings of the story and the river, right? Okay, very good. So... From the strategy of knowing the settings, you may arrive at uh, the correct uh, conclusion by understanding of the story settings. So, what do you think uh, is the best uh, conclusion from the given choices? Oh, okay, Justin. Okay, very good. Uh, the letter B. Because uh, going the writer, uh, Wrapping up the best conclusion. Why? Because the settings, uh, the settings take place in the river. Okay. Okay, class. Another example. Read uh, the story. Okay, class. Are you done? Okay, very good. Now. What do you think is the best conclusion in the story? Okay. Uh, Frances. Okay, very good. So, uh, C. It is the answer because LRT is the past third than the bus and EDSA who see and arrive the time in classes. Okay class, we finish the discussion about identifying conclusion. So, let us recall a discussion. So, okay, uh, Raymark, what is conclusion? Very good. So, conclusion is the summarization of the class. Class again, please keep in your mind that conclusion is the result of the related events of the story. Also, uh, 
uh, in order to identify the inclusion in the easiest way to identify the first sittings character and the plot to correlates and alignment of the story okay so is that clear class okay class uh, let's have an activity okay uh, write the letter of the correct conclusion and the given situation okay so uh, this is your uh, activity okay class are you done okay another two minutes Okay, class, are you done? Okay, very good. Okay, class, so now, I have uh, one question, all of you. So, what do you think is the importance of identifying conclusion in a story? Okay, uh, Miguel, what do you think is the importance of identifying the conclusion in a story? Okay. Okay, very good. So, it is very important to all of you to have that uh, kind of skill like uh, decision-making skills. Okay, very good. So, now class, uh, um, we have a uh, uh, quiz for today. So, your uh, quiz is... Okay, direction. Choose the, uh, choose the letter uh, of the correct answer. Okay, class, are you done? Okay, so I'll give you another five minutes. Okay, class, are you done? Okay, very good. So, uh, please uh, fast forward your old paper. Okay, class, so uh, uh, let's proceed to the, our assignment. Okay, your assignment is... And for your assignment, please uh, research the following words. And uh, provide its uh, example of this word okay class are you done okay very good so uh, thank you for uh, listening and uh, God bless all of you